It's been over a decade since we last got any new Mega Pokemon, and I'm an impatient person, so I made six more of them. What the f is that? Each with their own story and abilities. <laughs> no! No! What happened to Ditto? Let's see if my friends can beat them. Ah, uh, what the f So our very first Pokemon... <laughs> but why exactly are we trying to give this thing a Mega? It's probably one of the most underwhelming Pokemon. It serves literally only one purpose, and no, not to be your starter's baby mama. <laughs> Yo, he needs to close his legs, though, man. He's a little bit too open for our business. Hey! Uh, I'm talking about this thing was created to replicate or be a clone of Mew for mad rocket scientists. <laughs> I get it. It's like a failed clone of Mew, but come on, bro. <laughs> Which is why they share the same color palettes, same shot, the same shady palettes. <laughs> but the sad and terrifying truth of the matter is Ditto's a failed experiment, or that's what Team Rocket classified it as. But it's literally the only other Pokemon that can use Transform outside of Mew. So I think that's worthy of a Mega Evolution. Mega Ditto? <laughs> oh my god, he's so funny. He's just Mew, but deformed? <laughs> yes, I did know that interesting fact. I just never expected <laughs> Why are its legs like that? It looks like it can't move. It's all bone. This is horrifying. I thought my game was broken for a second. <laughs> Leave him alone! Oh, it looks so funny in game. No, that's gross. But dude, Ditto doesn't learn metronome. Tavi, you broke the rules. I get it. Ditto's only allowed to learn transform. But I think since this is such a unique Pokemon with such a unique backstory, we could do something unique with it and give it one extra move. Also, nice disarming voice. <laughs> Here's Mega Ditto using disarming voice. <laughs> Well, not necessarily unique to Mew. This is a move that gives a Pokemon access to literally any move. And if we're going to make a mega version of Ditto that can transform into literally any Pokemon, why shouldn't it get access to every move in existence? Hey, you stop that. Stop with the light. Hey, hey. Hey! So let's allow this unique little Pokemon to Mega Evolve. Give it plus 100 in its BST. And oh my God, that literally does nothing for it. Davi, the Megas don't get a buff in HP. Um, well, I decided to take some creative liberties in that regard. You're dead now. No, no. De Goodbye. No! Goodbye, you weird looking <laughs> fetus. Okay, so joke Pokemon aside, it's on to our very next Pokemon. Now, Sunfloor is a very interesting one because I think it's the definition of a Pokemon deserving of a Mega Evolution. Especially when you consider a little yellow rat that's not even fully evolved has a higher base stat total than it. It, it needs a lot of help. It needs a lot of help. So, we're gonna give it some help. <laughs> and Sunfloor is a very interesting Pokemon, by the way. It literally has an addiction to the sun. It chases after the sun all day long. It, it would go across continents, across the water, if it actually had the speed stat to do, which is kind of sad to think about. Uh, since a literal crab can uh, speed it. It's kind of embarrassing, if I'm being real. <laughs> so I did the only logical thing that anybody would in this situation, and, uh... Yo, wait a minute. Wow, this thing's slow. Oh my god. No, I didn't boost its speed stat at all because I'm a villain. Oh, he's roots. Oh god, what? <laughs> Wait, is it? Wait, is he fire with drought? Mega Sun Flora? Yes, you witnessed the Dude. power of the sun god. <laughs> Solar beam? Okay, yeah. The a skull villain, one might say. See, it's funny because skull. Yes, yes. it is a sunflower. <laughs> I get it, Tavi. Oh yeah, that's a little that. That's awkward. Oh, wait, so wait, and you're, you didn't give him extra moves, so what? You have to use Weather Ball, maybe? Yeah, Weather Ball is literally, like, the only stab move it gets with its additional fire typing. Uh, besides Sunny Day, which is kind of redundant considering its ability. Um, That's so cool. <laughs> well, it would have been cool if it lasted for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, and I also want to mention the whole entire reason that I did Sun Floor to begin with is because Lean Wired from the last video actually suggested it. So thank you, Lean. And I apologize. It's not a paradox Pokemon. Wait, wait, that's me. You have me. Why would you do this to me, Tommy? <laughs> and this next Pokemon I actually made specifically for a friend of mine. Well, I mean, I guess I didn't exactly make it specifically for him. I just knew that he would really like it. And whenever I had the thought in my brain that went, oh, you should do this since you're asking him to be a part of the video. Um, might, might as well. Dude, that dude's scary. <laughs> but this adorable little fiend holds a secret underneath its tattered up rag. It's actual true form. Um, yeah, no, that thing does not want you to touch it. It will devour you, eat you, alive.
Maybe dead. I don't know. Maybe it'll kill you. But what if a trainer were to earn its trust, allowing it to mega evolve? Would it reveal the secrets that it holds underneath the rags? No, you said out me. No. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Uh, what happened to him? Well, bro, what'd you expect? It still wants some modesty. Come on now. Oh, 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 hell no. Dude, I think I've seen this in the corner of my room at 3 a.m. Why are you making these? Um, who is he mimicking? Or is he just, he's just done with mimicking to play people now? Is he just on his own? Oh, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Wait, what ability did you give it? Long reach. I mean, it doesn't need its disguise anymore. It's loud and proud with its rags and shadowy long arms, slenderman like tentacles. Um, and long reach is a really cool ability only one other pokemon gets it yeah this is not okay i'm scared wait does he still have his little twig i think i saw it that is right <laughs> yeah, there it's like floating it around <laughs> and not only does it drop the disguise ability it actually buffs up its attack stats defense stats specialty tavi it's not looking good for your boy though uh <laughs> i mean i've been in bad situations before oh my god that thing's ginormous i just live I just live, baby. Oh, this thing's tanky. This is this is crazy work. I am mortified. <laughs> this looks like the dude that says, "Give me the slab from Courage the Cowardly Dog." <laughs> I hope like Pokemon yoinks this idea for me. If Mimikyu was allowed to Mega Evolve and got a brand new ability, it could use its disguise to set itself up and then Mega Evolve and start sweeping Pokemon, which I think is just really busted and dangerous. And oh my god, I want it. <laughs> But I know exactly what you want to see. You want to see this Pokemon Mega Ball. This dude's awesome. I had one on my team in my original silver playthrough. I was fishing out where the boat thing majiggy was that is supposed to get you to Kanto, but doesn't get you to Kanto until later in the game. And yeah, anyway, I freaking love Lantern to death. So let's give it a mega evolution. A lot of these Pokemon are just mons. I like, whoa, whoa, he looks so sick. I love his teeth. <laughs> oh, I fucking love him. Oh, these little teethers. Oh, this is just beautiful. What? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So what real life creatures does Lantern share ties with? Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to figure this out. I know this. Well, if you take a look at Bulbapedia, it'll tell you that dolphins and anglerfishes are probably the closest thing that we have in real life to what Lantern currently is. Yeah, I knew he was an anglerfish. I didn't know, I didn't know what a porpoise is, though. What's a porpoise? Um, a porpoise, uh, you know, a whale trying to find their purpose in life. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel that. I'm still trying to find it. It looks like it's, like, developed more of, like, the angler. Um, yes. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. I know my I know some of my fish. But if you take a look at that thing, it really do be just looking like a dolphin right now. Um, that, obviously, it's got the little dangly, wangly, fangly. We got three mm. more night lights, bro. You're going to keep the monsters away. I mean, Mimikyu's literally right there. <laughs> and what's really cool about Lantern is I have a plethora of things that I could swap its ability out for. It's got Volt Absorb, Water Absorb, and I think I forget what the third one is, but it is what it is. Uh, I replaced them for some really cool stuff. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Yo, Samurai's out for blood. Dude, he's thick. Why is he doing uh, dude, that? Dude, he's out for blood. <laughs> my guy has a 160. 65 <laughs> HP stat. How are you doing that much? Uh, Samrod doesn't give a f about your HP stat. <laughs> One of them is Storm Drain, which boosts up its special attack stat, if I'm not mistaken. You also got Lightning Rod, which does the exact same thing. Uh, and then the final ability. Oh! Swift Swim? Swift Swim. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. I actually like that because I thought you were just going to have like Volt Absorb still. Okay. Basically, it just becomes a special Mega Swapper. Wow, that's gross. Which allows me to make this thing beefier, tankier, hit harder than, oh my god. Don't whip me. You couldn't have let me do two things? I thought two it was things. Things. I thought you made a tank I you. That thing looks broken. What did you want? What did you want? God, he's, he's, he's epic. And now time to tell you a very sad tale of a Pokemon who was meant to get into Mega Evolution, but never actually received one, which after working on this guy, I completely understand the creative block because I had a flat Mega Flygon top. What? Oh, he's so cool. Oh my God. He's cool. Hi. What's up, dude? Ow! He's really cool. <laughs> Flygon. Okay. Oh, he's sick. Yeah, th okay, that's that's the coolest one so far. Yes, yes. Him and Lantern, <laughs> holy sh**. Well, at least he makes a good first impression. Oh, my pizza's done. First impression, 
That's so nice on a bug type. <laughs> yes, sir. That's so good. <laughs> what are you? Bug dragon? And with a much deserved upgrade in its attack stat, it goes from like 130 to 170 now, which is absolutely superb in my opinion. But for some daggone reason, even with a stab bug typing now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, Groot. Let's go, Groot. It cannot make any kills with a first impression. Yeah. That checks. Arguably worse typing. It is worse, <laughs> significantly. <laughs> but if it weren't for antlions, we would have no Flygon. Uh -huh. And, you know, antlions just so happen to be a bug. Oh, you made it a, Oh, you gave it the mantis claws. Yeah. So that's what I end up doing with it. I end up turning Flygon into a praying mantis looking dragonfly thing <laughs> abomination. I am a space ranger. Look at this dude. But I think it's better as a ground dragon with levitate. Maybe that's a hot dig from me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and speaking of levitate, I decided to chuck that thing right out the window. Damn it. Because I wanted to give it tinted lens, which after battling Matt, I realized that has been a thing with like fake Flygon for a while now. Because well, it makes sense. He's got mm -hmm. he's got the goggles, you know, and, and Bug Dragon's yeah. a bad typing unless it has tinted lens. That's like the only thing that makes it good. I mean, if there was ever a Pokemon that deserved this ability, it's probably the dude with big old lenses over his eyes, you know? Like No? Okay. <laughs> now, there's very few Pokemon out there that I spiritually feel akin to. And this next Pokemon definitely is, you know, that. I'm doing large and in charge. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, slacking is ridiculous, but it's one Achilles heel is that it's true on. But that's not going to stop this dude from being an absolute unit of a mega evolution. And I know what you might be thinking. Monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would you give it pure power? 790 <laughs> BST? What is this? No, but I'm definitely not keeping it true on either. Uh, because, well, I turned slacking from a lazy couch potato into. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Put him away! <laughs> Dude, no! Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, no, totally, totally huge power. No. That's <laughs> just Tobin. What the f- what did he, Where did he get his head from? Where did he get his head from? He, he was born with it. What do you mean? Dude, you big. You gonna fight the back scalper from my last video? You, you two? So far, you're the only person that has brought the singular thing to be able to stop this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but why? Isn't this dude supposed to be the king of lazy? Well... Uh, yes and no. His head hasn't changed at all, but his body's <laughs> significantly smaller. So this is just slacking after 5 p.m. when he finally gets off his ass and, like, does the dishes. This guy went to the gym. He stood up and... St is he on trend? <laughs> but I just couldn't pass up on the opportunity because my buddy Demo sent me this idea for a mega slacking that was just, like, way too good to not do. Okay, so surely you didn't boost his attack even further, right? And the more and more I was looking into it, the more and more I realized, actually, this kind of makes sense. See, Slackoth starts off as a lazy little piece of shit. Uh, Vigoroth actually looks like it took 20 bajillion scoops of pre-workout. And, and then slacking, for whatever reason, kind of gets lazy later in life. But what if he's actually not getting lazy? What if this Pokemon is actually just on a bit of a bulk right now. <laughs> he's the definition of the cut's gonna go crazy. <laughs> for real. Oh, we live. No, you don't. <laughs> Was that not... Huh? Are you have normal eyes? You have normal eyes. And yeah, this thing's like disgustingly busted. Slacking has a base attack stat of 160. This thing, I was going to crank all the way up to 255. And uh, yeah, the game didn't like that all too much. Uh, so we settled upon 240. That's the highest I could put it without the game like rebounding the number back down to zero, which is hilarious to me that the game is so well designed that it does that. But Mega Slacking has a glaring Achilles heel, and that's because of its ability, Normalize. Oh yeah, <laughs> Call the go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it turns every single one of its moves into a stab normal move, but at the cost of not being able to touch a single ghost type mod. No, slacking! Can we run this back? I just want to. I want you to only send in slacking. Just see slacking runs to shop. Yeah, I want to see if he can one shot everything. Just hit sucker punch on everything I have. Okay, <laughs> Tavi, you've seen iron hands. You've seen regular hands. But what do you know? About her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't condone the monkey on monkey violence that's happening monkey. here, okay? <laughs> no! Let's go! Oh. Hey, that's gross. Yeah, dude. Okay.